uh, Hello everybody, uh, today, March 29, 2020, we are in the middle of crisis and uh, in this video class I want to show you how to build neural net dynamic model, uh, how to make a long term forecast. I will make long term forecast for Dow uh, Jones Industrial Index uh, monthly data. Uh, but before that, I would like to make disclaimer, kind of disclaimer. You see, if I would make this forecast um, three months ago or better, six months ago, uh, it would be real forecast. Uh, but uh, I uh, have found this model only today, so this is not real forecast. I do not want to follow astrological tradition when uh, they make, made forecasts uh, when everything happened that it's useless already. So, take it as educational material, uh, and so uh, the same model you can build for any financial instrument you need. Uh, you see, actually, funny story, I have found this model this way. Uh, several months ago, I, I did explanation of some, one user uh, how to build this model. I explained how to click this button, that button, whatever. I explained only how button works. And uh, I didn't pay attention at uh, this forecast. Today, I looked wrong. It's interesting. So, now I will explain how um, uh, to build this model. Long-term dynamic model for Dow Jones, Jones Industrial Index. Okay, this is data. This is Dow Jones Industrial Index monthly data since 18, oh, 1789. It's more than uh, 200 years of price history. Uh, and now we've built... Uh, we will build a dynamic model for this uh, uh, for um, for doll. Okay, click this button neural net. Okay, this is neural net Windows uh, neural net. Uh, there are two important steps. First step: what we forecast uh, and what uh, this forecast is based on. What we will forecast? We will forecast Dow, but we need to uh, normalize this data, detrend it. So we will use um, uh, real uh, percentage price oscillator or relative price oscillator, whatever, uh, how you call it, and click here. And uh, I will uh, use um, smoothing uh, Windows uh, oscillator for, uh, let's say, 100 months. It's almost 10 years. Here it is. And to click OK, uh, try, try this one. You see uh, how this oscillator looks for this uh, for door uh, looks good. Okay, now uh, click in the. Uh, this is uh, output. What we will forecast? We will forecast door um, uh, IPO relative price oscillator. Uh, next step. Um, we need to set uh, the um, define the events. Do this, click plus this button, you see, and uh, there is, you see, FAM, FAML, uh, customized FAM model. Wait a bit. Uh, you see FAM model. Uh, uh, you can fa uh, find in uh, the Time in Solution, uh, on Time in Solution website explanation regarding FAM model, uh, floating angle model. Actually, uh, this is a model that uh, analyzes the angle between planets. Uh, the, here we can uh, set uh, the angular separation between uh, planets and a geocentric system, uh, geocentric cycles. Here we can spe specify planetary um, combination in heliocentric um, uh, zodiac. But there is a third table. Here we can set the dynamic terms. Uh, dynamic terms uh, is uh, it's a kind of uh, angle separation, but uh, this angle separation works very special way. And uh, I did a lot of research regarding this um, dynamic model. It works better than, uh, than uh, just uh, simple angle separation. It's a very interesting model. So, how to specify this model? Uh, firstly, what is the period? Uh, we will analyze long-term period for monthly data. I think we need to start with uh, start to analyze cycle, cycle starting from uh, Jupiter. Here it is. Okay, and here we need to set uh, the orb. Uh, orb it's like uh, with, if we set uh, less orb, we will get more detailed model. If you um, uh, let's for Jupiter, it will be seven degrees. And now click. Jupiter cell. You see, click here. 
the period of this cycle, Jupiter, 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 12 years. Now, next click, double click here. We will analyze um, Jupiter, Jupiter, um, Saturn, uh, uh, um, uh, dynamic turn. Click here. Jupiter, uh, Uranus. Sorry. Neptune. Uh, Pluto. Uh, for um, um, Saturn, maybe it's better to set smaller orb. Let's set it to be 5 degrees. Okay. And now we'll set an um, angle separation uh, between uh, Ura uh, Saturn, 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 uh, Uranus, Uranus, Neptune, uh, Pluto. And uh, for these planets, Uranus, let's set a 3 degrees orb. So, this is what I did. So the angle separation, we will analyze these angles. Actually, the um, general idea, we need to play with um, uh, this uh, FAM orb and uh, play different planetary combination. I played with different combination. It seems to me this combination work. But you can try different combination. And most important, don't uh, you should remember about, um, about periods of this cycle. For example, this cycle, the period of this cycle, um, uh, uh, Neptune, it's uh, 100, uh, so almost two, uh, 200 year, uh, years uh, period, it's uh, 170 something. So this cycle does not, uh, does not fit for this, uh, for our data. So uh, do, don't forget about periods. Uh, okay, now click OK. And now what we'll do this, we now we need, uh, what we do, we'll do, we need to verify our models. We need to understand, to figure out, uh, does this model forecast something or not? Forecast something or not? So in order to do that, uh, move, let's say uh, 20 years ago, uh, 2000, and click right mouse click here and set LBC. So we'll set LBC here, learning border cursor, and now we'll run optimization. So, what the program will do? The program now will optimize uh, our Merlot model and we will see, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we will check how this model works on this interval after LBC. After LBC, it's called um, out of sample data. So, I highlighted this piece of uh, price history, you see it's highlighted here, and so it, it displays this price history here. Now, uh, let's train it. Uh, train it, actually, it's, uh, you see, look at this epoch, uh, 10 epochs, uh, maybe uh, 10, 15, uh, try different, but uh, not too much. Mm, because, for example, if you, want, you, if you plan to uh, train it uh, 100, it's uh, too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's, I uh, will do this when, mm -hmm. I will do this way, I will set LBC somewhere further, let's it be, um, let's be here, uh, uh, click randomize, randomize it uh, like set to zero, so now program will, will, will forget about uh, education, education and uh, train again, once again, randomize the train again and watch how program forecast DAO, DAO, uh, on out of sample interval, this red interval. Let's wait a bit. You see, it's, uh, I will stop it. You see, it's trained uh, 12 um, K epochs. It seems to, it seems to be for a cast. Sometimes, of course, it does not work, but uh, sometimes it works. So you see, it shows some tendency. Uh, uh, let's maybe I will set more price history on out of sample. Uh, I want to uh, need to be sure that uh, this model works. Uh, actually, correlation very good, but uh, correlation is uh, like mathem mathematical statistical measure. It's uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, correlation may be very high, but uh, results it's uh, not tradable at all. So better watch it. Um, yeah, but uh, better watch a projection like how it works. Do not trust correlation too much. Okay, I click randomize and uh, run train. Okay, wait a bit. So you see, this is how this model works uh, last hundred years. You see, it's for a cast something. It's a correlation. Okay, uh, so now I will do this way. I will uh, stop. I will um, set LBC to last price history, last price bar, 
uh, set it here and uh, randomize it and train again. So this is final forecast. Uh, we have found this model, it works. It's not ideal. It's of course not ideal. I would like to make better forecast, but uh, actually this is what I we have. And um, why I so expressed this forecast? You see, I expressed because, um, just a second, I, I will show you this is for real forecast. It, this model, model shows a sharp drop, sharp drops exactly beginning on uh, 2020. And this is uh, what actually happened. Uh, and this is, I will stop it, and this is for a cast, for a cast. So it shows uh, us, um, let me do this. Mm. It shows uh, us that uh, till, just a second, I will check and change. Um, I want to display more detailed scale, price scale. View density price scale, okay. Okay. So it's where we can see all years. You see, the model shows that the price will go down till end 2021, beginning of year 2022. And after that, since beginning of 20, uh, year 2022, it uh, starts to rise, uh, go up, so it will be actually long term. Um, but I think you see, uh, maybe, maybe, Maybe because the uh, drop is was shy, this is a sharp drop, it's a strong drop. Uh, maybe it will be, maybe it will be like uh, we we shaped um, recovery because we have a sharp drop. Maybe uh, it will start early because uh, you see humankind uh, learn some lessons from previous crisis because you see at least it will be not long story one uh, like it was uh, like in 1929 then uh, recovery it was almost four years it will be shorter okay uh, this is what we have now thank you